months when I told my mother that I didn't know yet if I'd be bringing someone to Christmas dinner. Well, our bad guy's kind of cute. Maybe you should ask him out to Christmas dinner. <laughs> yeah, she'd love that. The first time I bring a date to Christmas and he's a two-bit counterfeiter. Hey, at least he has the money for a nice bottle of wine. I've been here over an hour. Any longer and I might buy a tree. Don't you already have two in that tiny little apartment of yours? Right. Maybe I'll get you one. Do you prefer the white pine or the white spruce? Which one's which? It's easy. Pine trees bear needles in groups of two to five, and they tend to be longer. So they're harder to decorate, but gives you fuller look in the end. Why do you know so much about Christmas trees? Uh, because Christmas is the best time of year, and the tree is the best part of Christmas. You're almost as bad as your mom. <sighs> Just want our buyer to show up so we can arrest these clowns. I'm freezing my jingle bells off out here. Give it a few more minutes, then I'll take another shift. We're waiting here for over an hour. We might not have a few more minutes. Guy's about to bail. What do you want to do here, Reed? Stall him, Mac. We need him to stick around until the buyer shows up. OK, any ideas, genius? Tell her to flirt with him. Uh, that's not a good idea. Wait, what'd you say? Oh, nothing. Brian had a terrible idea. Yeah, we'll come up with something better. Our guy's about to leave. I'm telling you, have a flirt with the guy until the buyer gets here. We need to hurry, guys. OK, Mac. Flirt with him. What? That's right. We think you should flirt with him until the buyer shows up. Seriously, that's your plan? Well, actually, it's Brian's idea. I think it's a horrible plan. <sighs> because it is a horrible plan. I know you can do this, Bennett. There's no way that you can do this. Why is this such a terrible plan? Because you have never seen Mackenzie Bennett try to flirt. Come on, it's that bad. You ever seen video of the Hindenburg going down in flames? I am not Hindenburg bad. Really? What happened to Peter? Again, bringing up Peter. Watch this. Stop doing your sexy walk, Mac. Hey. What? Can I help you find a tree? Do you work here? No, but I do know a lot about Christmas trees. Why? Because Christmas is awesome, and so are Christmas trees. Tell her to lick her lips. I'm not telling her to lick her lips. Are you <laughs> licking your lips? Uh, top lip, Mac. Top lip. Top lip. Maybe we get him. <sighs> Ma'am, do you need help? Oh, no, he didn't. Excuse me? Did you just call me ma'am? No. Yeah, you did. Listen, buddy, I'm 32. That's only two years older than... I'm... Wait, mean... wait. Why do you know how old I am? You're a cop. No. <laughs> We've been made. He's on the run. Meet me in the back of the alley. Nice tackle. Oh, my arm, you broke my arm. Settle down, I didn't break your arm. Santa? If you don't have your report on my desk in an hour, I swear I'll make you work Christmas morning. And I don't care how cute your twins are. Yes, Captain. Right away. Right away. And you two. I'm actually mad at you. Get in here.
You broke his arm. What, neither one of you chatterboxes has anything to say? We were not you, arm breaker. What the heck happened out there, Parks? Well, a uh, situation arose where the entire mission uh, hinged on... Uh... I'm dying of anticipation here. <sighs> Detective Bennett's ability to flirt. Flirt? Yes. In order to keep the suspect around for the drop, Max suddenly had to flirt with him. Good grief, she had to flirt? That sounds like a plan that idiot Brian would come up with. We're lucky he only ended up with a broken arm. Okay, that's enough. Mistakes were made, I apologized, but we got them. Correction, we got one of them and we're lucky he had the counterfeit money on. How bad was the flirting? It was pretty bad, ma'am. A man's arm was broken. Haha, <gasps> <laughs> guys, very funny. It's not funny. Do you know how many of my friends have grandchildren and you can't even get a date to Christmas dinner? My dog Bunchy has more dates than you. Mom! I don't care that I am your mother. In this office, it is Captain. Yes, ma'am. Is it the shoes? It's the shoes, isn't it? The shoes aren't helping the situation, Captain. I'm right here. There must be something we can do. <laughs> I've tried. But? But what? She's going to an event tonight. A Christmas what? singles mixer her friend is having at the coffee shop. Give the woman some hope. A Christmas singles mixer. I like the sound of that. You like it because the word Christmas is in there. I'll keep the paramedics on standby. You two are jerks. I have work to do. Uh, Mackenzie. What? All kidding aside, tonight? Yes, Captain. Wear a different pair of shoes. who finally showed up. And wearing heels? Wow. Who are you and what have you done with our friend? Oh, uh, guys, very funny. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. That's OK. Good turnout, Ken. Thanks. Well, I'm just glad you got here before all the cute guys left or got hit on by Jess. I swear, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Well, don't look too excited. Oh, just thinking about work. Oh, hey, how is that cute partner of yours, Reed? Still like a brother to me. And you can't date him either. Really? I'll let you know if that changes. All right, stop being such a hopeless romantic, OK? Look, we have a coffee shop full of single men here. Mm -hmm. That's all I want for Christmas. <laughs> uh, there's got to be one here for you. I just, what? I don't think I'm going to meet the man of my dreams at some cheesy Christmas singles night. Ouch. No offense, Ken. And I'm taking, but Mac, you gotta open yourself up to meeting guys no matter how it happens, right? Like Jess does, and look at her. Exactly. And look, no matter how much you want it, you're not gonna meet Mr. Ray the same way they do in the movies. That's right. But even my parents, with my mother as tough as she is, they have a great story of how they met. Mm hmm. Look, how about I go over there and I ask those guys to come join us? And when the reindeer are with us? Thanks. I don't want my friends to have to find some reindeer guy for me. I want the way I meet a guy to be magical. I want it to be serendipitous. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. Oh, looks like Santa dropped off my gift early this year. <sighs> it's
It's work. I gotta take this. Uh, hurry back. The young one here works fast. Yes, the horse is strong with this one. Yes. Are you Christmas? Because I want to marry you. Hey, Reed. So how's it going at the coffee shop? <laughs> Great. I see you have hair gel and cologne in there. Just give me a second. Beautiful. Uh, are you drooling over a guy? Not a guy. A Christmas tree at the station. You talked to anyone yet? Mac. I gotta let you go. Whoa, are you okay? Are, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. I mean, because you caught me. Well, lucky timing. I'm sure there's a joke in there about you being a great catch. <laughs> I'm Carson. Hey, Carson. I'm Mackenzie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know, I'm, I'm on my way to this Christmas singles night to hopefully pick someone up, but I'm not sure this is what I had in mind. <laughs> So you're going to the singles night? Uh, yeah, it was my buddy's idea. Um, are you here for the singles night? Yeah. No, well, kind of. My friend Ken owns the coffee shop, so oh. just going to support him. Mm -hmm. So you're not single? No, I'm very single. Just ask my mother. <laughs> uh, is your ankle OK? I'm sure it's fine. OK, because you, you look great in those heels, but they seem rather dangerous. Well, don't blame the heels. If you think I look good in them, then they're doing their job. You're beautiful, it's not the heels. <laughs> Looks like someone's trying to get a hold of you. I don't care. Can I tell you something? Sure. You, uh, you have glitter in your hair. Uh, of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> so typical of my dating life. Uh, is this a date? No, no, I just meant. It, it, no. <sighs> Shoot. Look, I was just kidding. It, um, you know, running into you tonight was more serendipitous than anything. What did you just say? Serendipity. It means a happy, happy accident. accident. Is everything okay? It's work. Mm. I'm sorry. Thanks for catching me. Anytime. I hope this is important, Reed. Counterfeit man. What? The other perp we were waiting for at the tree lot, we found him. Ugh, just my stupid luck. Oh, no. You look so nice. How'd it go? Well, it was going amazingly well until I got a thousand text messages from... Oh. Hmm, let me see here. You. Counterfeit man. <sighs> so ticking me off right now. <laughs> Your poor heels. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of good they did me. That's him. He messed up my chances with the perfect guy? I got this. Just don't break his arm. Uh. You know, running into you tonight was more serendipitous than anything. What did you just say? Serendipity. It means a happy, happy accident. accident. Hi, Mackenzie. 
hey, I'm Kenzie. They're not even uncomfortable. It, it's actually kind of like easier to walk in them. Take you down to the station. Mm -hmm. Do it in here. Good job last night, guys. Especially you, Mac, really showed some progress. Thanks, Captain. I'm kind of proud of myself, too. I went out on a limb. Wore heels. Talked to a cute guy. Detective, what are you talking about? The, uh, the coffee shop guy I met last night. Oh, well, congratulations. But I was talking about the perp you managed to apprehend without breaking an arm. Oh, thanks. But I'm glad you met a cute guy. Way to multitask. In my office now. What'd you do? Uh, this is Miss Robertson. It's Special Agent Robertson, Captain. Thank you. Uh, of course, this is Special Agent Robertson. She's with the FBI. Um, this is Detectives Bennett and Parks. It's a pleasure to meet you both. I would, Special Agent, would you like to sit? That's a lot of Christmas trinkets. I prefer to stand. Agent Robertson, what is the FBI doing in our little police station? Oh. The FBI would like our assistance. Captain, doesn't your precinct have rules against such displays of holiday expression? Religion and all. The captain views those regulations more as suggestions than hard rules. How can we help you, special agent? Well, the FBI has been keeping a watch on a person of interest for almost a year now, Mr. Mills. He recently moved to your city. A criminal moved to our city and you didn't inform us. Holly Christmas pound cake. We're informing you now, detective. Last year, during the holiday season, Mr. Mills and his now ex-wife, known only as Bethany, led a diamond heist that went sideways. They made off with a diamond-encrusted reindeer. The ex-wife fled the country. Diamond-encrusted reindeer? That sounds beautiful. Actually, it's horribly tacky. But it's worth just north of $3 million. And this Mr. Mills, why didn't he leave the country too? The FBI can never prove his involvement, but we're hoping that a stakeout might lead us to some new information and possibly the reindeer. A stakeout. Detective Bennett. If we find that reindeer, we can prove his involvement. So why does the FBI need us? You guys don't have your own cameras and binoculars? The FBI is spread a little thin, detective, terrorists and all. Besides, we feel that a local law enforcement with local knowledge would help us out greatly. And why now at Christmas time? Well, like most retailers, jewelry stores sell a much higher volume of product, including diamonds during the holiday season. The FBI believes that Mr. Mills will either try and sell the stolen reindeer, or even worse, get together his old team and rob another store while there's inflated inventory. If the FBI would like our assistance, we would be proud to help. So you want my partner and I to spend the days leading up to Christmas sitting in a dark room with binoculars? Exactly. You are not to engage with Mr. Mills in any way. If you or your partner find any evidence of the diamonds, please call me immediately. Captain? It's our pleasure to assist the FBI in any way that we can. Good. Isn't it? Carson Mills, 32. All his information is inside of these files. The house across from Mr. Mills is for sale, but we have rented it for you. Mac, you okay? Mm-hmm. You have the worst luck, Bennett. I know. Stop looking at this photo. Oh, he is cute, though. Right? All right, we've got a job to do. Right. We're professionals. Exactly. Law enforcement professionals. Right. Now what do we do? 
Well, Brian just confirmed the subject is at work, so you help me unload the gear. So that's his place, huh? Yep. And this is us, home sweet home. Ooh, we should decorate inside too. Nope. It'll help with our cover. No, it won't. It's already decorated. Great. This seems to be the best vantage point. We've got a clear view to his front door, kitchen, and what seems to be his bedroom. Let me see. Bennett. Bennett. Hey. How are we gonna handle this? Handle what? Well, you obviously like this guy a lot. Yeah. And now you want to look through a telephoto lens into his bedroom. Usually we arrest people for this. We're not stalkers, Reed. We're law enforcement officers doing our job. <sighs> Too bad your dream man is a suspect. This would be a great way to learn all about him, and help you date the guy. Well, after last night, I just figured he was a funny, smart guy who loves Christmas and is a great cook. Oh, he cooked for you, did he? No, I just figure he's great at it. But now we know Mr. Wright's a diamond thief. Well, the FBI lady said they could never prove his involvement. I appreciate it, partner, but the only thing worse than my inability to flirt with a cute guy is my inability to find a good one. Let's be real here, I'm never gonna go on a date with this man. Bennett. Hi, is this Mackenzie? Speaking, who is this, please? This is Carson. Uh, we met outside the coffee shop last night. You fell, I caught you. <laughs> Hello, Mackenzie. Are you still there? Yes, yes, I'm still here. So nice of you to call. I hope you don't mind, but after you left, I asked around and your friend who owns the coffee shop gave me your number. He did. Great. I hope that was cool. <sighs> sure, Carson, that's totally cool. What else did my friend tell you about me? Uh, not much else. He had to grab another friend of yours who was sitting on one of the baristas. Seems about right. I swear I'm not some stalker. It's not like I know where you live or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mackenzie, I know it's weird me calling you like this, but I really thought we had a connection last night. Me too. It was, uh... Serendipitous. <laughs> It was. I'm sorry I had to jet like that. I know this is gonna sound out of left field, but... Is there a chance you'd go out with me? <sighs> I know this is gonna sound out of left field, but... Is there any chance you'd go out with me? And that's when I hung up. I didn't know what the protocol was here. So how long have you known the subject? Met him last night? Last night? At a singles mixer her friend was throwing at a coffee shop. So you're single then, detective? You could say that. Look, I'm sorry, I should have come to you as soon as I realized who this guy was. Yes, you should have. But we only talked for like a minute, not even. And Bennett realizes that she can't pursue anything with this person. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. What? what? Detective Bennett, as flawed as her decision was not to tell us, has actually put herself in the unique position to help the investigation. How? Detective, I'm ordering you to go on a date with this man. Immediately. What? Oh, man. The 
This is crazy. Yeah, it is. And can she even do this? Yes, she can. Think of it like date boot camp, Bennett. I'll be guiding you every step of the way, and by the time we put them in jail, just in time for Christmas, you'll have a black belt in dating. You're loving this, aren't you? I always love a challenge. <sighs> All right, so how does this work? Well, when a man and a woman like each other very much... I'm serious! <sighs> think about it. You're gonna have a team of people helping you, watching your every move. You can even wear an earpiece, and I will talk you through everything. I'm not that bad at dating, am I? Really? I'm a grown woman. Yeah, what about Miles, huh? Why do you always gotta bring up Miles? Did his eyebrows ever grow back? Or... Yes. I think they did. We got a lot of work to do. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Hello. You need festive Christmas mugs. Hmm? Hi. Hello. Oh. Okay, let's see. What can we do? Um... <sighs> but Mom, Mom, this is so bizarre. I don't need your help to date a guy. Really? How is that young man's mustache? Has it grown back yet? Eyebrows. This is eyebrows. Oh. Really? I'm gonna need therapy after this. Pumpkin. I know I'm your mother, but I'm also your captain. And I'm sorry if I gave you the impression that this was a choice for you. Fine. But no more of this pumpkin stuff while we're working, Captain. Good. Let's get to work. What's the plan? Well, I have a gift from our FBI friend, a warrant for interior surveillance. Camera's inside his house? Really? Listen, you've been ordered to date this guy. He's dangerous. I'd feel better if we had eyes on him. <laughs> really? This guy? I want eyes on you if you manage to get inside the house with him. That's crazy. Why would I ever be in there with him? Uh. <sighs> well, when a man and woman like each other very much... Mom! <laughs> Okay, listen, oh nobody expects you to get that far with this guy, especially anybody who knows your dating history. Freed. But just in case he invites you into his place for dinner or to watch a movie. Fine, anything else? Eyes and ears, apparently. This warrant includes a wiretap for his home and cell. Well, this should be fun. Hi, Carson? Yes? Hey, it's Bennett. I'm, I mean, Mac. Um, Mackenzie? Ugh. So Sorry, it's uh, Mackenzie Bennett calling. My friends call me Mac. I'm glad you called, Mac. Uh, yeah. Sorry about the phone call earlier. My, my cell's been acting up. No worries. We've all had bad cell days. Um, earlier you were mentioning, uh... Yep, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, I would very much like to date. I, I mean, go on a date if the offer's still open. I mean, I would if you want to. If not, I don't... Mackenzie, would you like to have dinner with me tonight? <laughs> yes. Great. Uh, should I pick you up or I can give you my address and you can stop by my place? Oh, it's okay. I know where... Where... Where a good restaurant is, we could meet there. Sounds great. What's it called? What's it called? Oh, it's, uh, the restaurant. Yeah, it's, um, Marco's. Hey, I like Marco's. Well, I hope you would if you're suggesting it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Italian, and they do this crazy Christmas-inspired menu every December. It's great. Love Italian and cheesy holiday-themed menus. <laughs> Me too. And it's not far from you. How do you know where I live? I don't. I, I meant it's not far from where I met you at Ken's coffee shop. I guess you live nearby. Maybe not. Uh, anyway, Marco's is right down the street from there. I gotta go now. Gotta let you go, I mean. Okay. Uh, 
I'll see you at Marco's down the street from Ken's tonight at 7. Okay, sure. Yep, gotta go. Bye. Wow. This might actually be harder than I thought. That was like a master class in how not to ask someone on a date. Don't worry, Mac. We'll destroy these files as soon as the operation's over with. Don't be silly, Detective Parks. You know we can't burn evidence. We'll have to keep them and offer them up for scientific study. Carson should still be at work. Anna's workshop is this. <laughs> Joy to the world. What? What do you guys see? You'll have to see this for yourself, Captain. I want cameras in the living room, the hallway, the kitchen, and the bedroom. Isn't this the most incredible thing you've ever seen? Kind of weird for a single guy, isn't it? No, it's sweet. I mean, how can a guy with this much Christmas spirit be a criminal? I'm not sure the two are mutually exclusive, but I vote that it's weird and doesn't work in his favor. Well, you're just a killjoy. You know, you're worse than that special agent lady. Why don't you two geniuses get to work? What? There. Shut me on. Holly Christmas Kitchen. Ooh. Okay, all powered up. Mac. Mac. We used to have these exact same ornaments when I was a kid. You good, Bennett? Yeah. Be careful, don't fall for this guy. What? No. What are you talking about? He's a bad guy, I can't wait to throw the cuffs on him. Uh-huh. I'm good, Reed. Just watching your back. So, not a good idea. Don't worry, Bennett. We'll figure this out. Are those overalls? Over 25 years in law enforcement, and this may be my greatest challenge. Well, when I came to work today, I didn't know I'd be ordered out on a date. Well, you better shake your reindeer tail, because it's less than two hours until your date. Shoot, where'd the time go? I don't know, but you gotta figure out another outfit. Otherwise, this operation's over before it gets started. It's not that bad, is it? Jessica's outside. You, in that car now. Jessica's here? She has her orders. And I need you at the restaurant before the subject arrives. Make sure you keep eyes on her. Got it, Captain. Hustle, people! This date is gonna need extra effort. Oh, for Santa's sake. No, 
Uh uh, mm -mm. back, please. Hey, this is nice, yeah. Do a little turn? No. Honey, your entire butt is out. <laughs> really? Okay, let's try again. Start over. Nothing's working. Ken. Yo. Help. Ken, fast. Which one? Which one? Which? Oh, which top? <sighs> For my date, now. Oh, uh, white shirt, classic, clean lines, love it. But it's not a court appearance, detective, so no. <sighs> oh, what are you going to wear that one? Sunday school? What are you, 12? So that's a no? That is a no, seven days a week. Uh, there you go. Oh, 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 please, leave something to the imagination. Well, it shrunk, but it stretches. That's another no. Really, I've always liked it. Always what, since the late 90s? Oh, finally, tell me that fits you. Hands up, lady. Oh. No, that's the head hole. You, no, okay. okay, keep your hand there. Don't move. Okay, this totally fits, I swear. It fits. It's it just... fits. Okay, yes! Yay, we have a winner! Now, go get your jacket, the black one that I gave you for your birthday. Oh, I love that jacket. Well, thank you. He just entered the restaurant. Are your shoes on? Well, maybe if I didn't have to check my phone, I'd be able to get dressed quicker. Okay, okay, purse. Brush. Wallet. Lipstick. Okay, break a leg. I need a coffee. Bye bye. Oh, hey, can I get you anything? I'm good. Okay, so just let me know. It's about time. Enough with the tech, sir. I think I just roll out of bed looking like this. All right, how do I look? Um, better than expected. But you should get the approval of the captain first. How do I look? <gasps> Mackenzie, you look beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <clears throat> Parks. Oh, uh, right. Would you do me a favor and wear this tonight? It would mean a lot to me. Mom, it's beautiful. Is it a family heirloom? It's department issue. There's a camera in the lock at Parks 90 Dev eyes on you all night. Oh. Oh, and one more thing. It's Captain. Let's go get this guy. Copy that, Captain. Look, Carson's in there. He's been waiting for a while. You ready? Ready. Wait. Wait. 
Put this in. We'll both be in your ear. Okay, you really need to hurry. You got this. How's your connection, Captain? Can you see clearly? Oh, yeah. This ought to be interesting. You look beautiful. Thank you. You look quite spiffy yourself. Sorry, I'm late. No, no need to apologize. Sorry, uh, I love this place. Yeah, lots of Christmas spirit. Like I said, I come here every year. Well, I hope you don't mind, but I took the liberty of ordering us some Cabernet and some cheesy breadsticks. You're doing great, Mac. Get him to talk about his ex-wife, maybe to lead us to the diamonds. Good call. So, Carson, tell me a little bit about yourself. Ever been married? Kids? You're not still married, are you? Oh. Uh. Okay, good, but in the future, let's go one question at a time. Uh, no kids uh, and no current wife. No current wife? Uh, ex. Good. Keep him talking. Ask him what happened. What happened? I mean, if you don't mind me asking. No, I never could figure that one out fully, but I have an idea, a theory. Nothing concrete, though. Was she cheating? Have you tried the cookies, Detective Parks? Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. So fresh. Captain, you have outdone yourself. Mm. You have any napkins, Captain? Yeah, of course. I'll have the SWAT team just fly some in. You think the ex-wife was cheating? Was she cheating? Why did she ask about cheating? Oh. <clears throat> the cookies are on the button. Uh, we didn't mean to ask that. We didn't mean to ask that. We? Uh, sorry, I mean me. I, I didn't mean to ask that. The cookies were on the button. Sorry. Sorry. What? Sorry, I uh, shouldn't be asking such personal questions, especially on a first date. No, it's, it's, Mac, it's okay. Look, I'm a big boy. Um, was she cheating on me? I don't know. It's possible. To be honest, I wouldn't put anything past her, so. What happened then? She lied to me. Sorry. It's okay, look, better I found out when I did. We were only married for a short period of time anyways. My friends really helped me get through that time. Actually, it was my friends who encouraged me to go to the singles night at the coffee shop. Well, now I really like your friends. Yeah, honestly, they're a great bunch of guys. You have friends like that? Yeah, um, Jessica and Ken from the coffee shop. And two others in particular. Good buddies, huh? They've always got my back. You know, my friends reminded me that life's short. You gotta make the most of it. Take chances. It's amazing how fast time can fly. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you can miss it. Did you just quote Ferris Bueller to me? Wow, I'm impressed. You should be. I'm impressed. What's going on here, Parks? He just quoted an 80s movie and your daughter picked up on it. I thought it was my connection. No, ma'am. Good Christmas. They're meant for each other. I can't wait to tell Bunchy.
thanks again for dinner and uh, lunch tomorrow. My pleasure. I'm just glad we had a chance to talk, you know? It's not every day you find someone as weird as you are. Wow, look at that. I have the same figures at home. I used to have the whole set of the kid. Actually, I still have them. Well, all except for Mrs. Claus, but I lost that one. Really, Mrs. Claus is really hard to find. <laughs> Did you hear something? Nope. Really, so something made a noise from inside this van. It's a work van. I'm sure we just knocked a wrench or something off a shelf back there when you ain't in for a kiss. Speaking of that kiss. I'm moving a little too fast. Huh? I get it. <sighs> Thank you. Well, I'm up here, but where's your car? I'll walk you to it. Oh, that's okay. I, I'm gonna go say hi to Ken. Sure. Yeah, maybe grab a free coffee and talk about you behind your back. Smart, beautiful, you like 80s movies, and you have a hookup for free coffee? I like where this is heading. <laughs> well, say hi to Ken for me, and uh, try to make me sound good. You know, like, charismatic and stuff. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, Mackenzie. Call you tomorrow. Can't wait. Really? Parks did it. Oh, hello. Coffee, yes, good man. Cream or milk cream and sugar. Mm. Everything bagel, really? Mm. Can work around it. Okay. Crunchy peanut butter, my man. Mac. Morning, sleepyhead. Anything to report? You snore like a freight train? Anything on our boy? He uh, got up a half hour ago, took a shower, uh, probably leave for work soon. Anything else? I made coffee. Oh, you are the best. But I drank it all. I hate you. <sighs> You've been up for a while. I can take over if you want to get some shut eye. No, it's okay. Why don't you uh, go make some more coffee or go grab some? You sure? Yep. You seem pretty focused on that window. Just doing my job. Hmm. So what exactly is our boy doing? Don't worry about it. Hmm. Let me see. Just checking out his Christmas decorations, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're really pretty. That's your computer, Are you gonna get it? <sighs> Good morning, detectives. Morning, Captain. Agent Robertson. Anything to report? Uh, Carson's just getting ready to leave his place now. Looks like he's going to work. You mean the subject, Detective Bennett? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I filled Special Agent Robertson in on the date last night. Oh, yes. Thrilling stuff. Christmas wine and breadsticks. They were delicious. I go to that restaurant every year for that meal. Do I look like I care, Detective? Actually, I can't tell. Regardless, our warrant won't allow us access to his workplace. I need more information on the ex-wife and anything can get on those diamonds. Yes, ma'am. Ask him out on another date. Soon, today, if possible, and get me something I can work with. I'll try my best. 
If you can't, Miss Bennett, I will pull you two from the case and find detectives who can. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. She's pleasant. She doesn't have to be. She's in charge of the operation. I know, it's just... It's just what? Does he really seem like a criminal? Listen, if we don't get you on a date with him ASAP, that FBI agent is gonna find him a new girlfriend. I know. Should I do lunch? Nah, lunch dates are for friends. Call. Coffee? Coffee. We know the perfect place. No, wait, is he like a murderer or something? No, it was stolen diamonds. So, so he stole a whack of diamonds? Or his ex-wife did. A diamond-encrusted reindeer, and then she skipped town. And we still don't know if he was involved yet. Wow, that's crazy. I know, right? All right, Maggie's coming. He's here. Remember, you cannot let him know I'm a cop. Don't worry about me. Remember that summer I did Shakespeare in the park? I got this. Wait, what? What? No. No what? Hey, Ken. Yeah. Hey! Nice to see you hi, again. Hi, hi, yeah. Oh, uh... Mac, as well. Yeah. Yeah, lovely to see you, too. Again. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> Carson, can, can here get you some things? Yeah. Uh, just a coffee, please. Oh, Black. Okay, yeah. coffee for the lovely man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hint of an accent, isn't it? No, <laughs> he's just coming down with a cold. Oh. <clears throat> he really should be at home resting, but uh, since <clears throat> he's here, maybe he can get that cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he seems pretty fun. So, hey, uh, did you tell him all about our date last night? Remember, Mac? You told him you were going to the coffee shop last night after the date. Yes, last night I came here after our date and told my friends all about you. That's right. I wish I could have been a fly on the wall for that conversation. Oh, you came out looking great. Told them you were charming, sweet, and funny. So basically you just lied through your teeth? <laughs> Here we go. Wow. That looks interesting. Si, senor. <coughs> this is our uh, famous iced Christmas uh, snowflake peppermint mochaccino. Thanks. I mean, this looks and smells amazing. What do I owe you? Oh, oh don't worry about it. He'll put it on my tab. There you go. Oh. So, uh, how long have you known Mac? Uh. We met at um, self-defense class, mm -hmm. right? That's right. That sounds fun. Yeah, it was fun for me. And, you know, Max was brushing up on her skills from the academy. Academy? What academy? Uh, space? Space Academy. Uh, yeah, I wanted to go to Space Academy, but I ended up spending the summer working at my uncle's t-shirt printing right. company. Space Academy. Well, you wanted to be an astronaut? Yep, astronaut. <laughs> an astronaut. That is a believable cover, Mac. <laughs> but remember, Ken, I never ended up going to yeah, the yeah, Academy. Yeah, yeah, I remember. No, Academy. Yeah. Uh, go, go. Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah? Am I crazy, or did last night just go really well? You're not crazy. Last night was a great day. Detective. Remember, you're on a stakeout, not a date. Right, so last night, my friends were asking more about why your wife left you. Uh, because you seem like such a great guy. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence, but I, uh, I wasn't always that good. Really? Bad boy. Nothing serious. Uh, just a few things as a juvenile. I had friends who stole things, radios, jewelry. I didn't steal anything myself personally, but I knew guys who did, and I knew guys who wanted to buy stolen things. 
So you fence stolen property for high school buddies to make a few bucks. Oh, no, it's not good. Did your uh, ex-wife like that about you? Maybe a little too much. Now it's your turn. Ever married? Nope. I find that incredible. I mean, someone as amazing as you has never been married. Well, my friends would say I'm horrible at dating. I'm always telling people how I feel about them and putting my foot in my mouth. I get it from my mother. <sighs> Anything you want to say, Detective Parks? <clears throat> no, ma'am. Didn't think so. What is it? He a friend of yours? Hardly. Okay, then why is he trying to get your attention? He, he was uh, he was an acquaintance of my ex-wife's. Get a shot of that man's face. You want me to run it through our database? No need. On your toes, Mac. That guy is David Summers, a well-known safe cracker in the business. Carson. Dave. Nice to see you. Yeah, I doubt that. You're not Bethany. Nope, I'm Mackenzie. What brings you here, Dave? Oh, I was just here to see an old friend. I mean, what brings you here to this neck of the woods? Oh, work. I'm here for work. Maybe you should get back to that then. Is that any way to talk to an old friend? <laughs> Dave, we were never friends. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's always better friends with your ex-wife. Hey, is she in town by chance? I wouldn't know. Mm. Now, if you don't mind, I'm in the middle of something. Yeah, I see that. Look, I don't know this Bethany, but she's the ex. We're on a date. Maybe it's time you left. Get in there, Parks. You heard the lady? Uh huh. She asked you to politely leave. Now, do I have to ask you to leave not so politely? Because I don't remember that working out so well for you the last time. Liking this not so polite option. Can I get in on that? Like I said, just here to say hi to an old friend. See you soon. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, it's totally okay. You're gonna talk back there. So are you. Listen, Mackenzie, I, I gotta go. Are you sure? Yeah, uh, I should get back to work. Just say thanks and goodbye to Ken. I'll call you. <sighs> what was that all about? I don't know. He wasn't big time by any means, but he was a safe cracker. That part I remember. Which would explain why Carson knows him. OK, we don't know anything for sure. Could all still be his ex-wife. It's possible, but this definitely does not make him look good. Also, he said he was going back to work, but we tailed him back to his house in the middle of the day. Mac, I know you like him. And maybe in another time, another place, something could happen. But I think Special Agent Robertson's right. I think you need to separate yourself on a personal level. Great job, team. This David Summers character is exactly the type of information we're looking for. 
Thank you, Special Agent Robertson. Any other news to report? We followed the subject back to his house. And we picked up a call from the wiretap where Carson, I mean, the subject called in to work sick for the rest of the day. Good stuff, we have him scrambling. Well, we still don't know if he was in on the diamond heist. Ma'am. Detective Bennett. He just ran into a person his ex-wife used to work with. If this Dave guy used to help her break into safes, it would only make sense that Carson would have met him at some point. You're getting attached to this Carson. I get it, but you need to be careful. I just want to make sure we keep an open mind. Well, like I said, he's scrambling, and if we keep the pressure on, he'll crack. But... But nothing, Detective Bennett. I'm ordering you to go on another day with him as soon as possible. Uh, but Special Agent Robertson, what's the rush? This Carson could actually be dangerous. Detective Bennett, do you wish to step away from this operation? No, ma'am. I didn't think so. Now go on another day with him, fast. Okay, well, I'm going back to the station. Call me if this guy does anything. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Be honest, Reed. Am I crazy here, or does he just not seem like a criminal? I don't know, partner. They come in all shapes and sizes. Usually, not this good looking, but. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> there's gotta be something here we're missing. Looks like your boy's up to something. What? He's about to make a phone call. This late at night? To who? You. <sighs> Hello? Oh, hey, Mackenzie. It's Carson. Sorry to call so late. I, uh, I thought I'd get your voicemail. That's okay. What's up? Just wanted to apologize again for leaving so abruptly today. Don't sweat it. No, it was rude of me. It's just seeing that guy, David, just brought up a lot of bad memories, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. But like I said, we're cool. Unless you feel like making it up to me. I would love to. Great. Mackenzie. Yeah? Would you go out with me? Nah, I'll think about it. <laughs> of course, I thought you'd never ask. Okay, well, tomorrow night, my place. Um, your place? I'll cook you dinner. Ah, uh, sure, that sounds nice. Let me give you the address. It's 118 North Street. It's right by the old post office. You know where that is? I think I'll be able to find it. Great. Wow. This should be fun. Oh, man. So you really are pretty crazy about Christmas, aren't you? Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to find another adult who loves Christmas as much as I do. Actually, I uh, went to my storage unit once to accept my dinner invitation so I could grab a few more decorations. I always save these ones for last. Wow, you have a storage unit for your decorations. I'm impressed. Well, I needed one for the move. And yeah, a lot of it is filled with Santa Clauses, Christmas trees, snowmen, reindeer. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Christmas just brings back such great memories from when I was a kid. I love it. And these really are beautiful ornaments. Actually, this one right here is pretty important to me. What is that? When I was about nine or 10, my mom, she bought me this paint your own Christmas ornament kit and yeah, she helped me paint this one. It's beautiful. No, it's not, but I put it up every year to remember her. Your mother passed away? Yeah. My junior year. It was a car accident. I'm sorry. That's when I started to get into trouble. But 
That's behind me now. Here's to moving forward. To moving forward. I should take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait here. Mac, I hate to break up this party, but you gotta speed things along. How did your ex-wife ever let you go? Maybe I'm a horrible cook. That's not it. I can tell by your empty plate. No, 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 don't let him avoid the conversation. Keep pressing. But seriously, I want to know. Bethany was a firecracker. A firecracker. She was exciting to be around, and she liked to be around me first. But... But I was trying to move away from a certain life, and she was running toward that life as fast as she could. The criminal stuff. That guy from the coffee shop yesterday. He and other people used to hang around with Bethany a lot. She was smart. Too smart sometimes. Okay. She'd tell them how to steal things. At first, just here and there for the fun of it, right? She'd tell them how to do things without getting caught. Did she get in trouble? She convinced the guys that they should try for one big score. You know, the, the kind you can retire on. Sure. They robbed a diamond buyer last Christmas. They stole this diamond-encrusted reindeer. One or two of the guys got caught. David obviously didn't. And your ex-wife? She just left. Things got hot, she didn't call her right. She just uh, walked away from me without even saying goodbye. I'm so sorry, Carson. You know, I, uh, I never really realized how deep she had gotten in that life. I really didn't know her at all. Thanks for sharing that with me. Well, you're the first woman I've told. Actually, you're the first person I've gone out on a date with since she left me. <laughs> really? The first? Look, at the risk of sounding cheesy, I... I just didn't think I'd be able to trust anyone until I met you. <sighs> Stop it. No, seriously. A woman as beautiful as you, who loves Christmas and my cooking? I mean, yeah. I, I should answer that. Excuse me. It's kind of late for a phone call, guys. Who is it? We're not sure, Mac. Hang on. What's going on? The wiretap's not picking up the call for some reason. Is the gear malfunctioning? No, the gear is fine. We need to hear what's happening on that call. Oh. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. That's okay. It's a little late for a phone call. Is everything okay? It was Bethany. Bethany? What did she want? Oh, you know, the usual. Hey, how are you? Happy holidays. How's the family? Your girlfriend's a cop. Brian, have backup on standby to go in and hold for my signal. Crazy, Carson. Don't. Because Bethany's a lot of things, but she's always right on the money about this stuff. 
Uh, no, Carson, she's messing with you. I'm not a cop. Please don't, don't lie to me, Mackenzie. Okay, um, I'm a cop, a detective, actually. We've been watching you for a few days. Why? This doesn't make any sense. The FBI asked us to do a stakeout. They think that you helped your ex-wife steal the diamond reindeer and that you still have it. <laughs> the, the, the diamonds? The diamonds. But Bethany took the diamonds when she left me. Well, they think you still have it. But when we met, outside that coffee shop, I'm, how, did, how did you... It wasn't planned. Did... We actually met that night, and it really was serendipitous. Don't, oh, man. And when they found out that we met the night before... Oh, please. They ordered me to go please. on a date with you. But I wanted to. I really liked you, and I still really like you. They ordered you? I'm so sorry. Can you please just give me a chance? Mackenzie, I want you to get out of my house. Carson. I never want to see you. Stand down, Brian. She's out of the house safe. I'm sorry. Was that really that difficult? Was it really a police officer? You went and told the man you were a police officer. There goes all our dates, there goes all our information. Do you guys have nothing to say for yourselves? Still nothing from him, huh? Can you blame him? Not really. <sighs> what I did was horrible. And even worse, I did it to a really nice guy who didn't deserve it. How's the FBI landing? Oh, she's super ticked. <sighs> and your partner? My mother put Reed and I on administrative leave. Mm. You still get paid? Yeah. Oh, well, it's like a paid vacation. It sure doesn't feel like vacation. I haven't slept in days. Well, you do look like crap. <laughs> Why don't you go get some rest? Mm. It's Christmas Eve. I almost got fired. I heard a guy I was falling for, and now I'll never find anybody. I don't think I can sleep. Don't worry. I'll set you up with someone. 
Mm. I appreciate it, but a little too soon. So you're closed Christmas, Ken? Thank goodness, yeah. But I'll come back anytime to make you coffee. Thanks for the ice cream. Mm, sure. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Yeah, I get it. I know it's hard. Carson seemed like a nice guy, but try to forget about him. Easier said than done. Administrative leave isn't that bad. It's like a paid vacation. So I've heard. Well done, coffee girl. Isn't that sweet, running to rescue your new boyfriend? We're just dating, it's kind of casual. Oh, actually to hear Carson's point of view, it isn't even that right now. Typical new relationship bumps. I said you were feisty. He actually likes you a lot. Well, and he hates you, too. Listen, I'm a cop. You don't want to do this. Just let me call an ambulance. Why would I do that? Because Special Agent Robertson from the FBI just walked in behind you. That Special Agent? That's my partner. Agent Robertson? She's not an FBI agent, that's Bethany. Oh, don't look so shocked, Detective. <sighs> David here is a great safe cracker, but he's also one of the best document forgers I have ever met. Mac, run, try to get out of here. Your mom. <laughs> All it took was a phone call from the FBI, a few forged documents, and that woman was so eager to work with me. I swear, <laughs> she would have fetched my coffee if I asked. Watch what you're saying, lady. Oh, don't worry. I'm only here for my diamond reindeer. Then I'll leave you, your mom, and pretty boy here alone forever. I don't have your diamond reindeer, Bethany. I never did. You've had it all along, darling. You just didn't know it. What? You see, when the heist went south, I knew I had to lay low for a while, and I didn't want it on me, just in case I got caught. So you hid it somewhere until things cooled down. Exactly. But Carson just moved here. <clears throat> Imagine my surprise when I went to our old house and found a lovely Korean couple living there. They weren't very hard to track down. <sighs> but I still couldn't find that one special object that I hid the reindeer inside of. For a minute, I actually thought he might have found it. So you figured you'd get us to do your dirty work. She does catch on quick, mm -hmm. huh? So where is it? Inside the one thing I knew he would never throw away. <clears throat> Little Carson made this for his mommy before she died. So Carson never had anything to do with the robbery. Carson involved in the diamond heist? <laughs> He's an idiot. The minute he found out, he made an anonymous call to the authorities. So it spoiled our getaway. Merry Christmas to us. What are you doing, Bethany? Just finishing some unfinished business. 
What's your plan? Well, I was thinking of killing the three of you, making it look like you all killed each other, then find a beach somewhere and no one would be the wiser. Huh. Well, thank you for finding my reindeer for me. I appreciate it, but they're playing my song, so I've got to run. I wouldn't do that if I were you. We have a real good view of this house, so trust me when I say you're surrounded. Hands up. Turn your back. Let's go. How'd you know I was here? A mother always knows. Your back is clear. Well, that and your partner called me. Is he okay? I will be. Sounds like the ambulance is almost here. I'm sorry, Carson, it's broken. Not this. That. Carson had nothing to do with it. Would you look at that? I believe you, Mackenzie. Well, I guess administrative leave is over. So would you put this beautiful reindeer into evidence? Yes, Captain. Ready? Let's get him on the gurney. OK, let's go. Well, are you going to open it or what? This is pause is really hard to find. <sighs> Go be with him. Yeah, we got this. Mm. Good taste. Oh yeah, I'd hang that up. Hey. Hey. I can't believe you found it for me. Well, I knew it would mean a lot to you. You mean a lot to me. Bennett! Mom! What? Don't forget, Christmas dinner is tomorrow night. And you have to bring a present for Bunchy. He likes liver treats. And hats. And maybe you could bring a date for once? Carson, will you go and get 